YouTube videos to help you understand vehicle maintenance and the importance of using Kia original equipment parts. Thank you. Good morning. My name's Mike. And my name's Hector. We're both here at Citrus Kia. We've got a uh, Kia we're going to play with this morning. We're going to attempt to show you a few things about uh, the timing belt and the maintenance. Um, this is an 03 Sedona with a 3.5 liter V6. It is a interference engine. Um, that's why we're going to show you the timing belt today and the reasons for changing it. Uh, interference engine meaning the valves inside the engine. Um, they're in time with the lower part of the engine. If they get out of time, they will pretty much self-destruct um, from the inside out. And you definitely don't want that on your engine, on any engine. Uh, I have here a timing belt that has failed. If you can see the ribs on that uh, are missing. So when it gets brittle and hard and they start falling apart, the odds are you're going to destroy your engine from the inside out. Um, Hector's been working on this engine for some time now to get to this point that he's at. Um, he has some of the covers, the uh, air conditioning is all emptied out. He's getting ready to remove some more parts. Um, Alright, and in order to do that, you have to take the motor mount off. Then you have this bracket here that comes off also. It's a little tight in here. Now you have access to the timing belt. And you have the cam holders. You must have uh, these cams hold, otherwise you'll have a problem as Mike said. So, alrighty. This engine is now in time. He put the cam holders on there to keep the engine in time while he changes the timing belt. Um, if you don't have these special tools, you can pick them up or, or possibly even rent them, but I wouldn't attempt it without them. You'll have a lot of trouble um, trying to achieve what you're going to achieve without possibly destroying your engine. Right. So um, I'm going to start taking the uh, tensioner off, Mike. All right, he's going to remove the tensioner, which keeps a certain amount of pressure on the belt at all times. You can get down there on the ground and do this. We have the engine safely supported because the top engine mount is off. Be very careful if you're ever in this predicament. You've got to stick your body under there. You want to be safe about it. This procedure is done probably every 60,000 miles on most Kias. Um, some American cars go a little longer, but. Uh, Power tools there, Kevin. <laughs> Too big a load. All right, we about got that off. Yep. Oh. There it is. Now this is the timing belt tensioner, and this actually puts the tension on your timing belt. And if these should go bad, uh, you know you might as well not have replaced your timing belt because you're not really doing anything. Uh, now the way to know if these are bad or if they're good, is uh, there'll be fluid inside there. See, this one, as you can see, is no good. So that means you'll have to actually replace it. Now, the new one comes compressed with this ring here, and it goes inside that hole. Now, if you was to use this old one, if it was not leaking, you could be ab able to use it. Uh, we actually recommend you to replace them, because if you're inside there, you might as well replace this. Um, but anyway, if you do decide to uh, keep this one, uh, it would uh, you press it in at a press and put this back in, and then you put it back in as you put in the timing belt, and just how you took it off, you'd be putting it back in. So, anything you got to say, Mike? That pretty much covers the tensioner, but it is the, it's real important that uh, you replace that, especially if it's leaking, because the timing belt tension is pretty tight and critical. Um, on this procedure so keep that in mind when you're trying to budget your money that there's a point in time where you can get try to cut too many corners uh, this is interference interference engine like I said so 
Uh, Hector's going to want to get this tension on the belt just right because if you skip one tooth or you get this procedure wrong when you're putting it back together, uh, this thing will hand grenade, I guarantee you, from the inside out. And you will not be happy. So uh, right. you do need to make sure that these parts that you put on are of good quality. Now, where you see a um, genuine Kia parts, um, for the main reason is I believe that their quality is, is their standards of quality are higher uh, than any um, aftermarket timer belt you might have, and that's why we go with Kia. Um, it is a rubber belt, but it's very critical that those cogs and them teeth don't start to rot and dry out. That's when you'll start losing your engine. They are nice and quiet though when they're replaced and that's one advantage of using a timing belt over a timing chain. And while I'm on the subject of key parts, we carry all the filters for every make and model Kia that we have uh, that they sell. So you can stop in and pick up any Kia filters, belts, anything you need right here at Citrus Kia. Alright, so as we advised, the tensioner was bad. Now we have a new uh, Kia tensioner. Um, as I said, it came, comes with this. Uh, so we're going to get back to the timing belt here. And uh, they're directional, so you have to put it a certain way. So it goes arrow. this way. Little See arrow. arrow on there. Now the cam tools were locked down the cams. These special tools will lock the cams down. And just a little hint of making your life a little easier, once you put the belt around the cogged gear, you can clamp a little uh, paper clip type clamp on there. Simple as that to hold the belt is in position. All right, now we've got the clip on, holding the belt on the cogs of the cam gear temporarily till we get it around every gear and idler where there's no slack, no play, um, and then the play will be on the back side of the belt where he Hector is installing the belt tensioner. So uh, go ahead and take yeah. those off. The, uh, I'd leave one on the back yeah, back there right until we get the tensioner on it. Yep. Now right. we're going to take, we're going to raise the vehicle because we can. Now that tensioner is holding the slack, so if for some reason it would jump a, a tooth, that that little clip will hold that cam and belt together so it won't jump. I will lift it up. If you have a lift to your house and can lift it, by all means do that. But I don't have one at home either. So as you notice, I already have one bolt down here, I just hand thread, and now there's two ways of doing this, um, here you go, you got it, thank you Mike, um, you can loosen this bolt and this twist it back and forth, or you can do it this way, which is uh, the way I like to do it, there's actually any way you like to do it, whatever you feel comfortable with but this is the way I like to do it and push it down put the bolt in and then you can release that pin see now how easy that moves and uh... cool here oh, all right. oh. <laughs> let's go tighten this up You gotta put a little bit of tension on this here. Uh, I always like to push this up a little bit. There you go. Before you start it. See now it's nice and tight. There you go. And obviously the critical points of checking your timing marks again. 
you're doing this whole job and this is the most critical point. Uh, once the belt and tensioner is on with belt tension, that all five of the key points are in time. Uh, one tooth on any cog uh, will ruin the job that you and the time you've spent and maybe your engine. Alright, so, uh, sorry Mike. Um, so you see this here? That little hole and that little um, thing there, that, that's your timing mark. So we know that we're right there where we need to be. Alright, lower it down. Kevin, Hector showed you the top, bottom side, timing mark. This uh, special tool right here held the gears in place until he put the belt on. And we'll see if we can't show you the timing marks on the top side. Um, I don't know if you can see it with a video. It's going to be difficult, but there are two marks. There's a mark on the cam. And a mark behind here that's got a red, red uh, dimple there that sticks out. Those, from my point of view, are lined up on these two cams, and we'll also use a mirror and check the backside. Oh, we we'll get the tool off of here first. Takes a little, uh, but that one looks good. And that one looks good. Okay, the key points, the critical points are all looking good. All our belt tensions tight everywhere, no play, everything is in time. And uh, we can start the re reassembly procedure. Just the part where it takes a little bit of time here. There's, uh, there's quite a bit of parts here. It might, may not look like there's uh, not that much missing, but there's actually quite a bit, as you can see here. There's the hematic balance, there's the motor mount, there's the covers. I mean, there's actually quite a bit of work here left uh, uh, to do. belts on while we're while we're doing this job but we'll have them off. Um, generally we're going back to the way we reassembled it so I hope uh, we've shown you something you didn't ever know. Um, heck do you have anything to add to that? Uh, no I think you covered it pretty good. Remember stick with genuine Kia parts for your Kia. Thank you. <laughs>